hello good people welcome back to my channel thank you guys for being here today's video guys is going to be about three things that you need to know before you take on that side hustle especially if you working a full-time part-time whatever type of job so let's jump right into it you decide to go ahead and start that side hustle side gig whatever you want to call it make sure you are not doing anything on company time make sure you're not using the company laptop their cell phone their software none of that because you know sometimes it just depends on what you're doing you know you might feel like okay let me just go over here to this computer and let me um just kind of pull up what i normally am doing on my side hustle you know let me do this on company time no 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 don't do it. Don't do it whatsoever because it can cause you some problems. First off, make sure that you know your company policy before you start that second gig. I apologize if you hear any kind of background noise. They are building homes in my subdivision and now it's right by me and I can hear everything. So yeah, because many people feel like if they have not signed an employment contract, that they don't have limitations but that's a big misconception because a lot of times if you don't know the company policy and you start doing other things other than what you're doing on your job it can cause a big problem even at will employees that do not have specific contracts relating to their employment or job is also subject to their company policy as well because you will sign documents paperwork that's pertaining to your job so it's critical to know exactly what that means when it come down to you wanting to do something else start something else um, do another type of job while you working full-time with another company for instance it could be a non-compete or non-disclosure agreement preventing certain work so please read your policy slash handbook for your job a lot of side hustles involve social media so you need to look at your company social media policy because it's very important to understand what you can actually do or post while you're not on the clock with your company because understanding what a conflict of interest is it can be very difficult so when in doubt check with your HR representative and go from there. Because I can remember a time, this was a time when I was actually in high school, me and two of my best friends, we would, you know, throw parties on the weekend, you know, house parties, you know, have something to do um, on the weekend. So what we would do, we would, when we get to school during the weekday, we would kind of promote it with our flyers and our t-shirts and things like that. And this particular day, um, we all got called to the office because they were telling us that we could not, you know, promote and advertise while we was in school because that was a conflict of interest. And by us not really knowing this, we're young. We just doing something, trying to have fun on the weekend, but we didn't know this, you know what I'm saying? So something as simple as that, that we didn't even have a clue on, you know what I'm saying? A conflict of interest, you know what I'm saying? We just high schoolers, you know? But something like that on a job can cause you a lot of problems and a lot of headaches. So yeah, just review your social media policy with your company. Bottom line, just know your company policy before you start doing anything with any type of side hustle. Just check and make sure you know what's what. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for being here. Again, if you think you might like this type of content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up like comment and share this video and if you enjoyed this video check out this video over here and i will see you guys in the next video you guys take care bye bye